Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video is about is considered to be general program, but I made I have added many features in it that makes it more complicated. So first I will just show you its working, its front panel, and then we will discuss its working from the block diagram. So before starting the program, I will just choose the path to my excel file to store the data and then what I can do is if I know that my file path is always at the same directory at the same path then I can just go to data operations make the current values default which means that every time when I reopen my uh, lab view vi this path will be provided automatically so I didn't have to select every time this path. So right now if I run my program, what I can do here is basically a student grading system. So I'll just enter my name and then the registration number is automatically starts from one. And then here I will just add the result, let's say 78. And then I will just insert. And whenever I insert, uh, name with some registration number score grade and review mediocre is given inside the table so similarly now again I will come back to student and add another let's say for one and the registration number is automatically increased by one so that we didn't have to increase it uh, manually and now we can just enter some results let's say 87 as you can see the color of the grade is also changed and the review is excellent so that I have given some condition at different level of grade the, num uh, the color of the background of the grade is also changed and similarly now if I add the third one um, let's say uh, Usman and now the registration number you can see has changed to 3 and let's say his result is 56 so now if i now insert the grade is now changed to poor performance and let's say i have just entered the wrong value in here so what should i do i should have to delete this row basically so what i can do is i can just press delete and delete the row so now again I will just come back and I can now again enter Usman and I can registration number is 3 and let's say his score was 66 or let's say 76. So again insert as you can see the review is changed, the grade is changed and these are the three people having that particular score. So what I can do other thing is I can press trend and a full trend or being generated and a cursor is shown that if a person gets lower this value then he must be showing fail. So what other thing that I have added in this program here is that key navigation is which is very important aspect. If I press F1 right now that will key navigate to the students if I press F2 that will navigate to registration number if I press F3 that will bring me to enter result so and if I just um, press 3 4 5 bring it to let's 2 and if I just press delete that is automatically delete so it means that is key navigated to this delete button also so and uh, now if I just press save that will be saved to my excel sheet if I just close my program and let's check if it is saved to my excel sheet or not so the only two entries Abdul and Usman are being entered since we can see only Abdul and Usman are available in this table so uh, those two persons 
name number and score is entered in the excel sheet so now we can talk about its program and let's just jump onto this block diagram first we have buttons in here that will show uh, the working of each event structure before explaining this program i must have to tell you that if you are just very beginner level then you might feel difficulty doing it yourself this can be easily understand by someone who has just the basic knowledge of lab view who has who know the function working of all the functions but he didn't have some logic so this will help you to build your logic basically so that you can implement the same logic into some other examples if you want this project um, as it is then you can talk to me or uh, if you want some changes in it then you can just contact me that i will uh, attach my mail so that you can just contact on me so let's just move on and i will show you now these are the three buttons that represents the each uh, event structure basically so the each button will be connected to each uh, event structure and then what we have in here at the first um, insert button and whenever the insert is entered we changes the inter-result registration number and all those things and uh, the registration number is changed by one whenever we press this insert button i can show its visibility label so that it will be more visible to you and then we have the uh, we have its property node of this indicator in here which will show us the background color and the text color uh, in each uh, in each case basically that will have different result and uh, depending on the result basically so what we do in the end is we just compile up all the uh, strings in the form of array and we add those to our shift register and in the end these are added inside the table whenever we press insert so that's how it will work for the insert button so now we will talk about the other uh, part which is our delete part basically since as you can see that whatever value whatever row whatever entry is i can just delete that so how i made that to delete that uh, entry from the table uh, we have choose um for loop which shows that there will be seven columns will be deleted since we didn't have much num greater number of columns since we have one two three four five since we have five columns but for the safety purpose or let's say i have just selected seven that whenever our delete button is pressed basically this uh, event structure will occur and this loop will uh, run seven times which means that um, this sorry this is not for delete purpose this is just for numeric purpose which will just bring this highlighter to the specific row basically so that will just bring the specific value or that will bring the highlighter to some specific row so I have chosen the seven which means that seven columns and only one row that row is selected from here that row is highlighted with some this color we can just change the color to this also so that if we run the program right now as you can see in here the insert registration number is not entered let's say just uh, insert so I can just change as you can see the color is also changed so in the next step we have a numeric value to delete that basically to delete the row the entry which we if we consider it to be wrong so if i just press on show context 
what we have used in here is delete from array function whose length is one basically and its row is indexed row is given in from its property node of this where we can create its property node is from going here and go to property node and then entering the value basically so that's how we can delete the whole row from our table so the next step is to save button and that is very simple ones we have used write delimited strap, uh, spreadsheet and the value of our table control this is again we have in our property node and this is the value in here this is our property node so whenever our uh, save button is pressed these value will be gone to our write element spreadsheet and will be saved to our excel sheet so in the final step we have building xy graph which will show us the trend basically so what we have done in here we have just indexed our table and fetch the columns of basically the registration number and score so the registration number column is one which is name column is zero and registration number column is one score is two so this is for registration number column and this is for our score column and these will give us the array so we have one problem in here that our the column starts from number not numbers these are just names strings so we have to just used a delete from array and we have just selected the first element of the array to delete and we have deleted the registration number and score and rest of the array will be sent it to convert to numbers so these numbers are then expressed on the xy graph as you can see in here as the three people were added in the table and then we pressed on our trend and the trend was generated so last is our uh, stop button which is shows us that whenever the stop button is pressed the same uh, the particular event structure will happen and that will go uh, send the condition of true to our while loop and that's how the program will be stopped so this is the explanation of uh, working of this program if again if you want this program you can just contact me on my mail that will attach in the description below so i hope you will like this my work and support this channel and like this video thank you so much